Hi, so in this video I'm going to demo the traffic manager in Azure. So here you can see I have four VMs, uh, Web 1, Web 2, Web 3, Web 4, and two are in East Asia and two are in ja uh, Japan West. And I'm going to load balance all four of these using the traffic manager. So what I did is I, if I bring up the VMs here, I've set up four VMs uh, with the websites of uh, the same page. So here's my four VMs, the four VMs that you saw uh, before within uh, Azure here. So I've logged into them and I've set up a web page uh, that displays the uh, web, the web server name. So what I'm going to do is if I go into Traffic Manager here, uh, you'll notice I set up a uh, traffic manager called Dev Demo Web, and let me show you what I did here. I set it up by default by adding these four cloud services that is uh, associated with Web One, Web Two, Web Three, Web Four here. And if you look at my configuration, I simply have this as the name. So this refers to um, all four of the URLs which will be distributed and pointed to by uh, this particular method of load balancing here. So there's three methods. Performance which uh, directs the traffic to the nearest geolocation which the request is coming from and round robin kind of tries as much as possible to distribute the traffic evenly throughout whatever endpoints that you have. So I have four endpoints, so it's going to try to distribute it uh, evenly across all four of the endpoints, but not necessarily. And failover here is you have one primary, and then you have kind of a hierarchy of backups, basically, or uh, failover web servers if if the first one fails then it goes to the second one for example so I have round robin here and um, let me demonstrate it so I'm gonna copy this URL and I'm gonna go to each one of these VMs and punch in the URL here so remember this is the traffic manager URL that redirects the traffic to either one of the four web servers that I have uh, scattered through uh, East Asia. So this went to Web 2 and this went to Web 2, not surprising. And this went to Web 4, and this likely will go to Web 4. Oh, this went to Web 2. So you'll see what it's doing here. This went to Web 3 and this went to Web 3 also and this here is the round robin so it just tries to redistribute uh, even though it's uh, not as even as you would have liked to uh, notice this is both Web 2 uh, this is Web 4, Web 2 this is Web 3, Web 3, and this is probably also Web 3, Web 3. So redirected to a lot of the Web 3s. Um, so let me go back to um, this traffic manager here. And let me do two things. I am going to choose a different load balance. So I, I chose performance, which directs it to uh, the closest geolocated web server that your request is coming from. So I have two web servers in East Asia and Japan. So it's going to redirect my request to whatever is closest there. Um, but actually, let, let me do one other thing here. I'm going to go to my endpoints. And because it was redirecting so much to Web 3, I'm actually going to disable Web 3. And you'll notice it doesn't actually happen right away. So I, I have this disabled and if I go back to do my request you notice it will actually fail because it won't fail over to one of the other threes yet because it 
uh, th there's some delay uh, within the traffic manager so you have to be aware of that so if I go here you notice if I refresh and actually let me do a little bit more than that by closing out the browser bringing it back and let's see what it goes to so it goes to web 3 and that's likely a cached version now if I hit refresh it still redirects it you notice this one switched to web 4 from web 3 that one went to web 4 And that one switched to web 2. So let me go through my second demo here where I not only have I disabled this but let me go to configure and I'll go to performance here and I'll click save and this will take uh, some time here and just go back make sure it's online so now it's switched to performance and what that's going to do is uh, for these two I know is in East Asia it should actually get the web servers from East Asia it actually already has uh, for these it's web 1 and web 2 so web 1 and web 2 is in East Asia if I go back and show you that here virtual machine so these two here is in East Asia this is in West uh, Japan West Japan West so if I bring this up again they should consistently go to web 1 or web 2 so you notice this goes to web 4 So it's uh, basically making a liar out of me here. So these two, uh, oddly, one and two went to web four. So let's try this. Uh, but but notice there is some uh, semblance of uh, load balancing here because it is going to different web servers, just not to the ones that I would imagine may maybe the uh, geolocation or performance uh, hasn't kicked in yet so notice this change to web 4 um, I am expecting this to go to web 1 or web 2 sometime soon so let me keep on doing this here and notice uh, finally kicked in this goes to web 1 or maybe it's just a coincidence, but I would imagine um, I would trust Microsoft in this, and uh, there it goes to Web 1 again. So these did uh, eventually consistently go to Web 1 or Web 2, while this does go to Web 3 and Web 4, because uh, remember that these two, 3 and 4, are in Japan, and 1 and 2 are in East Asia, so it points back to uh, its closest web server. So uh, there you go, that's really um, a simple load balancing uh, that is inherent in uh, functionality in Azure. And hopefully you find this demo uh, very useful. Um, Alright, uh, thank you for watching.